Hi, I wanted to talk about acne today and what my acne story is all about, um, what I have used um, that hasn't worked, which is a lot of things, and what has worked. Um, this is like my 50th take, so hopefully I get through this. Okay, anyways. So, um, I know that when I was like at my worst with my acne, I looked on YouTube a lot and actually a lot of people's stories helped. Um, you have pretty clear skin right now, which is amazing. <laughs> but um, trust me, that is not the, has not always been the case for the majority of my life. Okay, so of course I got acne when I was a teenager, got really bad in high school, and once I uh, got done with high school, um, it got a little bit better, and then it got worse again in my mid-twenties. Um, I tried everything, I and it was just at an old-time, old-time bad. It was really bad. So I had seen, I have seen several dermatologists, and they haven't really helped very well, I guess I could say. Um, they have prescribed me a ton of stuff. So some of those things that I have used, I have written down here. And this is just to name a few. I'm sure there are way more out there. Um, well, I've tried Proactive, whatever. That's just like the basic, you know, um, cleanser, astringent, and uh, moisturizer. <laughs> so I went off birth control um, a few months ago, and I was terrified of going off birth control. Um, I didn't break out. Initially, I, I got some rash and all this weird stuff, um, but I did start breaking out. And for and it's important to say, I have also been on spironolactone at this time, which is um, an androgen blocker, which is a male hormone, essentially a male hormone blocker. And I have tried a bunch of over-the-counter stuff, um, everything over-the-counter, I'll just say that, everything. Um, clindamycin, which is a, a antibiotic, a prescription oral antibiotic um, that was temporary help. Retin-A, it just made my skin really flaky, kind of helped. Um, like a prescription grade benzoyl peroxide, which just dried out my skin. Um, I've tried no wheat, and then when it was at its very worst, I tried Accutane, and of course that worked, but what I have found out is that um, most acne, um, especially for me, is a hormonal issue, and Accutane will work temporarily. Um, it did work temporarily for me, but then it came back in a year. So it basically just shrinks up all your pores, and it has all these side effects, and um, it's just not the best choice, I don't think, unless you have severe, severe acne, which I didn't have severe acne. Um, so, and then during this whole time I was on birth control pills, um, and that was, uh, in my head that was the only thing that was kind of keeping it not severe, you know what I'm saying? It was still pretty bad, but, um, you know, the birth control pills I just felt like I had to be on. Um, so recently I have was, I'm trying to simplify my life a little bit, I don't want to be on medications, I um, just want to do more natural approaches because um, I think um, so spironolactone and birth control pills I thought worked great together I hardly had any acne but I didn't I don't want to be on that stuff anymore so I have gone off the birth control and I'm titrating down to where I'm barely on any spironolactone right now I started you know I, I started to see acne and um, uh, if you've ever had acne it can be very it can really take a toll on you, on your self-esteem. I know it's like, oh, it's just a couple of pimples here and there. No, it hurts. Um, you feel like you constantly have to be covering up. They leave scars. I have permanent scars, you know, from it. It's just, it's just, it's a lot worse than I think people would imagine if they don't have it. Doing my research, because I decided I have this hormonal you know, fluctuations or imbalances, whatever it may be, and I don't want to go back on birth control pills. So um, 
I saw a few natural supplements that people were taking, um, such as Estrostep. That was the number one um, supplement that I saw that was really helping people um, to regulate their hormones. And um, it was kind of pricey for every month, you know, spending I think like 40 something dollars. Um, so I was wanting to see, I looked and wanted to see what the main ingredient was in it and um, that was helping, you know, with uh, controlling or balancing hormones and I saw that it was this stuff called DIM, um, which is dendylethylmethane, dendylethylmethane, DIM. So I went ahead and went to my natural grocery store and got it. It was under $20 and um, I thought what, you know, can't hurt, right? <laughs> so I got this DIM Plus by Nature's Way, yeah. Um, and I just want to tell you that this stuff has really helped. I can't, I don't know how. I mean, it's just amazing. Um, I've been on it for a month now. And I, I do have a little bit of breakouts every now and then, but hardly anything. Um, I do feel like my, my cycle is a lot more balanced. Um, my acne is, I can't believe that I'm off birth control and basically off, almost off spironolactone and I have hardly any acne. I never thought that could be, I really didn't, like it's just amazing. And I do feel like this stuff has really helped balance uh, me out. And um, my hair doesn't fall out anymore. Like I noticed that whenever I was in the shower, I'd have clumps of hair just coming out. And I just don't have very much hair that falls out anymore. Um, I think I counted how much hair I pulled out in the shower and like during my blow drying and everything. And I had like 15 strands of hair this last like shower that I took. So, um... I just think that is really, um, it's really helped and I, I really want to, um, you know, tell people if you're looking for something, um, some women, if you're looking for something to regulate your hormones, maybe this is what it is um, that would help. Um, it's, I want to say too that it is for women who have estrogen dominance because it blocks those extra um, estrogens in your body and um, and a lot of the times that can be toxic and um, cause acne endometriosis and other various disorders and it's basically just like a constant concentrated um, vegetables which is I never thought that could work but that's what it is um, so yeah DIM plus you can get it at a natural food store and um, I hope that helped. Please leave any comments of what has helped for you or if it hasn't helped for you or whatever that is. Um, okay, thanks. Bye.